Hello, boys and girls. It's time for another new math lesson. Are you ready? You have learned about finding parts of a whole and how to, uh, how to write an addition number sentence to show parts in the whole and also to show in joining groups. Today, you will be learning about add the same numbers in different order and compare the sum. As you see, please bring your uh, sheet number 1-7, which is topic one, lesson seven, page 27. And let's start. All right, adding in order. As you see, if I have my sheet here and I say, I'm gonna put two plus three. equals one, two, three, four, five, equals five. Very good. What if I say, and I start with number three, and I say three plus two. What do you think the sum would be? Same, five. All right. So that's mean, if I put them in a different order, my sum, my total, will remain the same. If I use two plus three, your answer will remain five. And if I say three plus two, it's still gonna be five. All right. So this is part of a five. And this is part of a five. We know that and we cover this in a couple of uh, lessons before. So three and two are parts of five. We also call that um, these parts call them addend. So if I add the first addend and the second one, my answer would be the sum or the total. If I put this addend in a different order, like here, I start with two first plus three equals five, or three first plus two equals the same. So if you start with the part, first part, two, and the second part will be three, your answer will be five. But if you used three first, and then you use two second part of the second addend, your respond or your answer would be the same. So if I say two plus three, and I put an error here, that's mean I'm starting three, and I'm putting two at the second addend. So my answer, Two plus three, five, and three plus two, five. So what did we learn? That if you put your addend in a different order, you didn't change the numbers, but you only change the orders, your respond or your answer or your sum or your total will be the same. And this is a part of five, which is addend. So this is the first addend, this is the second addend, and this is the sum and the total. So the words for today, order, add in. All right. If I have my blocks and I say, making a train. Okay. Can we write this down here? you will say, how many green blocks? Two. How many yellow blocks? One, two, three, four, five, plus five yellow. So the first add-in, two. The second add-in, five. Total, very good, seven. Okay, what if I start like this. So now I have to put the yellow first. So come here. Do you remember your yellow? Five. So how many yellow counters? Five plus, because two more join, plus how many green? Two. Your answer would be six, seven. So 
if I started like this, two plus five, my sum seven. And if I go like this, five plus two, your total or your sum still the same, seven. So if I put my add-ins in a different order, your total or your sum or your result will remain the same. Okay. Let's have fun with our class activity and use your crayons and colors and answer these questions. Okay. Page 27, please. Adding in any order. Look at your example here. One, two, three, four. That's the first add-in. Four yellow counters. And how many green? Two. So four plus two equals six. That's when I make my, um, uh, my equation or my uh, addition sentence. And then I'm starting now with the two. So two plus four, my answer will remain the same, six. All right. Over here, let's count, uh, let's, uh, let's color four yellow and three green, okay? So I'm gonna color four yellow. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna color three green. Okay. Now I need to write my addition sentence. So my addition sentence will be one, two, three, four, four, join plus three, total. Awesome, seven. All right, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna use different orders. I'm gonna put the green on the top, my second addend first, and then my first addend will come second. So how many I had? Three green, I'm gonna color three green. And then four yellow, it's the same. I just put them in a different order. Now I'm gonna write my addition sentence. What do I have first? Three, and then four. Do you think my sum or my total will change? No, it's gonna be the same. So if I have here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then, I'm gonna put them in a different order. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Still the same. I still have seven counters. Okay. Over here, let's do two green and it's still the same number seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm gonna make two green and very good, five yellow. So number two, first part, the first add-in, I'm gonna color two green counters or blocks and then five yellow. Now I'm gonna write my addition sentence. Two plus one, two, three, four, five. My answer is seven. Okay, now I'm gonna put them in a different order. So what I'm gonna put first, my second add-in. So this one, 
will come here and this one will go there. So my second addend become the first and my first addend will be the second. So instead of, this is my picture, now I'm gonna do the opposite. So it's gonna be yellow first, then green. Different order. I'm gonna color five yellow into green. So five yellow, one, two, three, four, five, and then two greens. If you don't have colors or crayons available, no problem. You can use your pencil. You can color some and leave some without coloring. So some are shaded with a pencil and some are blank. Okay. So let's turn the page and read the example we have. You can change the order of the add-ins. You will see that the sum is the same. That's what we just saw. So one, two, three, four, four red counters plus two blue. So four red and two blue is six. Four and two is six. Now, if you start with two first, so two and four, your sum is still the same, six. So you can write two number of sentence. Four plus two equals six, or two plus four equals six. Four plus two equals six. You can also put it this way. Four plus two, or two plus four. As you see the most important, your sum remain the same. Okay, so the new word again, order and add -in. This is first add -in, second add -in. First, second. First add -in, second add -in. First add -in, second add -in. All right. Let's go back to page 28. and do the guided practice. Color to change the order of the add-ins. Then write the addition sentence. So the first one is done halfway for you. So this is the first part. One, two, three, three, plus one, two, three, four, four. So three orange and four blue. So three plus four equals seven. You're gonna trace over it the dots for the first one. Now what do you want, what do you need to do? You need to do a changing the order of the add-ins. So first, remember four, we need to start with four blue and then color the other three orange. So let's start to get my three on. Four blues and I'm gonna start with four blues. So four blues. One, two, three, four. So four blue. I have four blue counters and three orange. Now I'm writing my addition sentence. So what do I have first? What's my first addend? One, two, three, four. Four. And my second add-in, one, two, three, three. My answer would be the same, seven. Okay, now let's write the sentence addition. Remember, they did the first one for you. Now we're gonna write this one, number two. So how many green? This is my first add-in. One, two, three, four, four. And what's my second add-in? One. So four plus one, Five, awesome. Now I'm gonna start with the one. The second addend will become the first addend. Okay, I'm gonna use my pencil in case you don't have crayons. I just wanna let you know what to do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna color the first one. Or shade it with my pencil. And I'm leaving the rest blank, unshaded. So this is the one. I'm gonna put one. How many in unshaded? One, two, three, four. 
four. It's the same. The same addend, but different order. Now, the total still remain the same. Okay. Do you understand? How can you see, how can you use cubes to show that three plus five is the same as five plus three? How are we gonna do that? Let me see. Let's say, let's say we have here, three plus five. Three, one, two, three, plus five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, how are you gonna show that three plus five same as five plus three. You're gonna do exactly what we been doing up there or color them. So when you do this, or what you do, you put them in a different order, but what you're gonna find out that the whole or the sum or the answer or the result remain the same. Or we can do simple cubes to see, so for example, we're gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, five. So I have three, two, three, plus one, two, three, four, five. So I shaded or I did pattern for the first three and the other addend, I'm gonna leave them blank. And your answer is three plus five equals eight. What if I put my addends in different orders? We're gonna do this. I'm gonna put five first. So my blank five will be first. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That's my second part here, plus three. My pattern or designed or shaded or colored. So now I have five plus three. My answer or my sum will be the same. So how can you do that? What did we just do now? Just put them in a different order. Well, you can answer this by coloring and show that you put your add-ins in a different order. If you color, if you give it shaded or whatever you choose to do, make sure that the first add-in for the second part will be the second add-in. You get it? Look at the example up there. And as you see, the result remain the same. Your sum, still the same. All right, let's go for page 29. All right, independent practice. So this is gonna be your turn to do it. Write the sum, then change the order of the add-ins, then write the new addition sentence. So write the sum means give me the total. So two plus three equals, and then, Change the order of your add-ins. So that's mean you're gonna start with the three and the two will be your second add-in. So you're gonna say three plus two and I'm sure the result will be the same. Your sum will remain the same. So that's what you're gonna do. All right, one plus six. First, you're gonna give the answer and then you're gonna change your add-in and then put the sum again. Three plus six, I'm gonna change the add-in, same, same like your example. And number six, five plus two, don't forget you have to give the sum, and then you change the add-in, and again you give the sum, because the most important, you need to know that even if you put your add-ins in a different orders, your sum still gonna be the same. All right, four plus five, you're gonna do the same, it's gonna be five plus four. So if it's vertical or horizontal, it's still gonna be the same. If they're next to each other or on top of each other, your response and answer and the sum would be the same. So if I have it two plus three, or if I have 
um, if you have it this way or this way, it's going to be the same. All right, six plus two. Let me help you. So this would come first, and then. like that will help you when you look at your video to know what to put first. Most important, don't forget to give me the sum. Okay, turn the page, let's see page 30. All right, solve the problem. It put one green cube in a box, then he put three brown cubes in the box. How many cubes did Ed put in the box? Draw a picture, write two different addition sentences. Okay, so what happened? Ed put one green cube in a box. So one. And then he put three brown cubes. So he add three more, three more join, join the, the, the tree. So first was one green, Okay. So he had one green cube in a box and then three brown. Okay, so one plus three. How many all together? Very good, four. All right, now put them in a different add -in. So that's um, you starting where the second add in would be number one. So three plus one. Three plus one. Your sum will be the same. Okay. Look at the two addi addition sentence. Which is the missing add in? Something plus two equals nine or two plus the same missing add in equals nine. So what do you think two plus what will give me nine? Very good. All right, draw a picture of five birds. Make some blue, some, and the rest uh, red. Uh, write two number sentence to tell about the picture. So you're gonna draw birds, I know you can do it, in total, five. So you'll be having five. So if you want to color two blue and three green or red and blue, so you need to have red and blue. I have here my box. I'm just showing. So total five. Let's say you're going to do this. Way. You're going to do three blue and two five and two red. So three blue and two red. And you're gonna write three plus two equals five. And then you're gonna change in the order of your add-in. So you're gonna go like this. For the second part, two plus three. And your answer should remain the same, the five birds. Okay. So today we learn how to add in a different order. We use the word addend, which is a part of your addition sentence. And we used the word order that you put your addends in a different order. And we learned that when you put your addends in a different order, your answer will remain the same. Okay, first graders, that's it for today. I'll leave you with the rest of the activity to have fun. Bye-bye.